the great of three is that 930. Now, you know Bob Hawke's over in Kuala Lumpur? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, he's over there for... Uh, mm. Chuck him. I actually ran into him out at the airport and I said, Bob... I said, when you get to KL, can you report in regularly for us? And uh, I think I think we got him on the line now. Oh, right, yeah, OK. You there, Bob? It's Hazel Hawk here. Oh. oh. Yes, look, Bob wants to speak to you, but he's a bit sluggish. I'll just start him up. <laughs> OK, I'll give him a bit of a kickstart. Wait uh, a sec. OK. Good morning. Yes. <laughs> How are you, John? Uh, Wilbur? Uh, Mr. Prime Minister? Uh, uh, Mr. Yes, you, you're the right honourable. How was your trip, uh, sir? Oh, not too bad, a bit, bit bumpy. Right, and uh, Hazel uh, weathered the trip all right, did she? Yes, as good as as good as gold. Her face dropped a bit when we landed, but uh, apart from that, it was all right. Now, Bob, are you uh, flying up the pointy end at the taxpayer's expense? Not really, uh, Wilbur, no. Uh, oh, you know Wilbur, Bob? I used to drink with Wilbur back in the old days. <laughs> so you didn't, you didn't do that other stuff. <laughs> quick, quick, quick yard or two, Bob. Yes, they were the days, weren't they? Yeah. yeah. Actually, I had a bit of a scare. I got a, uh, a knock on the door the oh, middle of the night and uh, guess who it was? It was old Malcolm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He had no pants on again. <laughs> Now, now, listen, <laughs> now, Bobby, how long are you in, uh, in uh, do you know, I might have called you Bobby, do you? Oh, I don't mind getting personal, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> There's a very good line from Kuala Lumpur, I must say, Mr. Prime Minister. That's not too bad, is it, actually? Uh... Bob, uh, could you uh, just phone us back periodically and let us know how the Choggum Conference is going in KL? Will do, John. Uh, Wilbur, pleasure. Okay. Thanks very much. You haven't got a, a, lit, a little bon mot for us, have you, to leave us with? Some little prime ministerial saying or something, no? Uh, I heard about these racehorses that uh, got burned down in Sydney. Yes. Now, be very careful, well, Bob, because it's pretty tragic. It is tragic. Yeah. Uh, just like to say, you can lead a horse to water, uh, but a pencil must be lead. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Bob. Uh, no worries. Thank you, uh, Mr. Prime Minister. <laughs> you can lead a horse to water. Right. But a pencil must be lead. Yeah, I think that's something like you can lead a whore to culture, but you can't make her think. There's a call coming through from, uh, I think, Singapore. Hello? Singapore, How's the trip going, Bob? Not too bad. I believe uh, Malcolm didn't get the gig. No. As uh, Commonwealth Secretary General, he must be disappointed, because uh, I know you were plumping for it. Well, I was. I've been pumping all night for him, but uh, he's, he's a bit peeved about it. I, I've got him here, actually. He, he, uh, he'd like to... <laughs> Oh, come here and say a word. You're just having a couple of quiet ones there uh, yeah. in con in consolation. Well, it's almost driven the man back to drink, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is. Yeah, Malcolm, yeah. come here. Yeah. Uh, hello. Oh, Mr. Fraser, good morning. Uh, good morning, Mr. Blackman, Mr. Wild. Uh, good morning, Mr. Fraser. Um, uh, can we say, uh, Mr. Fraser, uh, can we express our disappointment at you not getting the gig as Commonwealth uh, Secretary General? I believe that uh, that chief uh, knocked you out of the race. Yes, that uh, Nigeria's what Eureka Cuckoo Kachu, whatever his name is. Yes, he, he beat me to the, the post, but uh, well, you know how it is. That's it's politics. Yes, that's it's Chief Amika. Amika. Oh, sorry. Yes, oh, Chief. Does that have anything to do with it? Huh? Yes. I had a bit of trouble with the pronunciations, you know. Mm. <laughs> Malcolm, I can't help but notice uh, you've spent so much time in the company of Bob Hawke that you're starting to develop some of his mannerisms. I know, it's dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> Is Tammy over there with you? Yes, yes, she's she's not in here at the moment. Actually, I've been sleeping in the room with Bob and uh, Hazel. So I hope there's no upset uh, in the marriage uh, there, Mr Fraser, or anything like that. Uh, oh, no, it's just Bob wanted me to stay here. He didn't trust me running around the hall in the middle of the night. Yeah. Right. Right. After that, uh, anything about that after myself. that Memphis episode, yes, to eleven past six, we've got Bob Hawke on the line. Morning, Bob. Uh, morning, John. You, you look a bit. Uh, we've been seeing bits and pieces of you on the telly, Bob. That, that's a very snappy outfit you're wearing. You like it? Yeah, very nice indeed. If uh, any of that stuff comes at back into fashion, you're going to have a complete wardrobe on it. <laughs> I like that look of the floral shirt outside the uh, lapels of the uh, jacket. That's a good look. That. Mm, yeah, it might be back in one day. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, putting it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Everyone else here loves it too. Uh, all the other, few of the other PMs I've talked to, uh, India's PM, Mahatma Coat. Yes. Okay, and yeah. From Canada, Brian Mickey Rooney, he rings us all right too. Yeah, right, yes. And uh, my old mate, uh, Sir Shridhar Sonny Rumpelstiltskin thinks it's pretty good. Right. Or Sonny to his mates. Uh, yeah. Call him Sonny, you know. Right. Not a bad bloke. <laughs> yeah. I actually don't know what sure saw in him, but we reckon he's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I had a bit of trouble with. Maggie Thatcher's the only one that give me a bit of stick. 
but uh, I gave her a bit of a brow beating and, uh, you know, with my eyebrows, it's, that's quite a tumbling. Well, yeah, my word, yes. Yeah. yeah. She, uh, she's, uh, you, you and she aren't seeing eye to eye at the moment. No, no. not exactly. I, I think she's still a bit uh, snaky because they lost the ashes, but, uh, you know, I was trying to bring her into line. I, I've got her here with me, actually, if you want to speak to her. <laughs> Yeah, put her, put her <laughs> put, on. Put Margaret Thatcher, the Prime Minister of Britain, on. This will be interesting. Yes. Okay. Hello. Oh, Mrs. Mrs. Thatcher here. To whom am I speaking? That's uh, John Blackman, uh, Mrs. Thatcher. Black oh, Blackman, not another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Wilbur Wilde's with me too, ma'am. Another chap's wild, is he? Yes. He's going to calm down. Eh? Thank now, you, ma'am. Still recovering from the tongue lashing that your Mr. Hawke has given me. How's your hair, Maggie? Is it true you tripped and almost broke your hair <laughs> when you fell over? I'd rather not comment on that. It's a uh, very, very good voice you have yes, here, Ralph. Very, very good. Well, it, it's helped me in my position. I mean, I've got to be someone people can look up to. Yes, in fact, almost a little too good. Too good, you think? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't... Now, is Dennis over there with you, Maggie? Yes, Dennis is here. Yeah, what's he doing? Whatever I tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Thatcher, and give our best to Bob. Will do. Okay, yes. goodbye. Come bye. <laughs> it's 14 past six.